Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repairs. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video to any of you guys having a BMW 5 Series BMW. It could be almost any generation BMW 5 Series with a turbo engine. You have check engine light on and called 120308. Okay, 120308. Stay with us. We'll explain what most likely causes that and how to fix it easily, guys. Now, this code is really hard to diagnose in some cases because it doesn't pop all the time. Often that code will will be triggered when you're actually driving and shifting at lower RPMs. You're not actually uh, driving your car too fast or you're in eco mode, driving slower. Okay, that's when it will pop up. And sometimes it may take like thousand miles to come. But it's uh, it's actually uh, pretty bad because you get a big thing on the screen that says drivetrain malfunction, okay, limited power and blah blah blah. But actually doesn't limit the power in most cases. Before we start, let me just tell you, okay, have a little bit about us. Every single car we get here at the garage, guys, we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos. Why we do that? Simply because our mission as a shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need, guys, in return, please subscribe to the channel, like the video. That way we can keep making these free videos for you. Now, if you need to buy any power Parts to use for a good price and quick shipping guys check out the link in the description of the video below and you can save quite a bit of money uh, that BMW that we have here it's specifically 2013 528i turbo engine guys that code most likely will relate to turbo engines and uh, we have the uh, here a few things taken apart you can see the turbo is okay right down there that's the turbo and on the turbo guys you're going to have one device that's known as a di the, the diverter okay right here that's a turbo diverter and that one okay we installed an aftermarket dv plus diverter that we have a video that explains how to do that it will improve your car it uh, keeps the boost longer okay you don't lose boost between shifting points okay the car is more responsive so it's definitely a great okay investment in my opinion but on the old diverter valve right here this is the valve guys you have a membrane or you have a ring like that that eventually uh, it can crack or loses its flexibility okay it turns instead of being a rubber sealing ring okay it turned into kind of like plastic it's really okay really not sealing so good anymore and as a result guys okay what will happen okay you're going to uh, have malfunctional light because of that the most common reason for that code okay will be bad diverter valve which you can rebuild with the dv plus i will put the link in the description of the video below and it will make your car act even better another thing always check the vacuum lines okay for the wastegate actuator as well uh, in some cases it could be a best way uh, bad uh, wastegate actuator make sure vacuum lines are good they're not cracked they're not unhooked okay that could be another reason as well but quite often we notice okay the problem right here you either have a membrane that cracks on the inside or you have a uh, the ceiling ring like that will uh, kind of like turn into plastic and eventually will not seal correctly and that can cause that problem as well in some cases you might need to replace the whole diverter valve okay if it has malfunction after that as well uh, those are the most common things of course it could be other things as well but that's what we find here based on our experience in the shop if you have any questions let us know thank you for watching and see you guys next time